hi guys and today before i start i just want to start off with a with a speech that i wrote i uh, got the paper here i couldn't manage to memorize it but i was like why then should i not release it to the world you know people need to know that she still has it she still has that that touch so yeah it's just me trying to get back to the game later on i might you know release like better versions of um speeches and stuff but this one is specifically connected to the message that i'm going to be sharing today so let's get into it yeah <laughs> Before I start, I, I just want to say sorry to my mom and dad. Um, I'm sure you never expected this outrageous behavior for me of all people. I mean, you told me to never attract them hens before it was time, but I guess the heart wanted what it wanted. I mean, I can't completely blame myself for this though, because this one, this one looked different, mom and dad. I felt like he was he was the one you see he came to my life at an early age i think the moment i started to think and felt grown up a bit i felt like i needed him he came and became a shoulder to cry and the only person who would never crush my heart because somehow he helped me and protected me from the world outside see i was protected see for me he was disguised as the perfect version of the person who's supposed to be my other half and complete me so he completed me and I bought into the idea that I was meant to be in that relationship. Yes, it was a relationship because somehow, somehow he had my back in every decision. He, he's the one who was always there to remind me, to protect myself, to guard myself so that people wouldn't look at me strange. So I let him in. I finally realized that I was playing games with myself. And yes, you had it right. Today, today is the day of our breakup and... I'm fine. I'm really fine. So don't try to talk me out of this. I've made up my mind. We're through. Insecurity. The voice that reminds me of my own obscurity. Constantly whispering the words of false security. Letting me know that every faulted moment was for my own sanity. So I wear my mask boldly with the illusion of verified certainty. That the choice to hide is better than any unsafe option to sell to the deep with no map. My comfort zone has become the sport that shields me from any palpitating, palpitating moments. My life has become a boring weekend omnibus stuck in past achievements because now, now I'm like a shredded piece of paper, useless. Every day, scratch that, every night, actually, just remove it all. Every moment, I'm desperately imagining all I could have. Because of the but voice that constantly shatters my pride, reminding me of how cruel the world we live in has become, I choose to hide. It constantly reminds me, what if they laugh at you? <laughs> You're duck. You can never measure up to society standards. Just protect yourself and stay covered. Don't come out. I deceive myself each time, confidently believing it's self-care. But is it? Is it really? self-sabotage disguised as self-love i quit yes that's right i just flipped the switch my creator said this is good so the choruses in my head will have to wait i guess i don't have to wait for the fear to go i'll just do it scared tired of all the chains i let hold me down i'm not some firecracker preserved for one big moment new year i burn all year long so i quit waiting for big moments it's a tragedy that i let my own self my own self-esteem crumbled at the vision that I created and chose to destroy myself in the process of, me, of it. If only I had understood the power God gave me over everything, then maybe, maybe I wouldn't be here. And I know, insecurity, you will try to con me into coming back. That's what they all do. If they're bad for you, they just want to come back, right? I know them, your cousins, yes? Pressure anxiety procrastination they constantly make me feel like i need them but no this time this time it's for real so don't try to talk me out of it i've already made up my mind it's not your will that will be done it's mine it was a long time coming and this time this time i'm through i felt like a helpless romantic in that situation because constantly, for me you were my ride or die so i would confidently stand and be like i can't wait to do life with you but all that is finished now because I have seen that despite all that, 
you were just you were just a plastic paper ready to rip apart with anyone who pokes their finger in and confidently I stand to say I have managed. I quit constantly waiting for validation from the world when really all that matters is God's word. So now I'll wear my Godfidence crown, reminding myself that I am of a royal priesthood. So try me. I was promised that my enemies will fall to my left and 10,000 to my right. Basically, I'm unstoppable. So go ahead and laugh. Try all you can because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I've let the rules of the game torture me for so long, watching my friends blossom into butterflies as I remained a caterpillar, constantly asking them, you've changed, and them always letting me know, we're supposed to. Enough with the waste of time, now I will stand tall, I will no longer allow, I will no longer let myself be a pawn in your game, waiting for you to make the move. Now I will stand tall. I do not deny what I struggle with, but this time I'll not let it be the excuse of why I never gave myself a chance. I don't want to leave my life wondering what could have been. I know you're scared, dear viewer, but take my hand. Let's do it, scared. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I know that this is probably not the first time you're seeing me like this this is because i did like a double shoot yeah yeah and what are you gonna do about it i'm joking guys hi and welcome back today we're talking about insecurity i thought this was, this was gonna be fancy like some cozy jersey but it's not working it's actually a blanket so let's just let it go <laughs> so today we're talking about insecurity and this is a very important topic because I can relate to it personally. And I hope that if you are here because you are insecure, I hope that you move out of this video with a new perspective about your insecurities. So I don't know what you're insecure about. You see this? Yeah. If you are laughing, God forgive you for that. And yeah, so my thing is thumb, exactly. So I've got two thumbs, but this one is a bit fat than the other. It's just not, not your usual thumb. And I like it. I think it's normal. Like, I don't care about it. Uh, they found me like a, what do you call those nails thingies? Yeah, they've got my size. So like, I'm fine. I don't really care. But people are concerned about it. <laughs> Shout out to all the haters that used to laugh at me in high school. Yeah, primary, no one really cared. But high school, people used to be like, what, 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 what? Even at home, when I was showing people, they laughed at me. My brother, especially, <laughs> he would laugh until he cried. But anyways, that's not the point. The point is, everyone has an insecurity. Everyone has something that they're not sure of, you know. The point of the video is to just say, we all have insecurities right so just because someone has described that a hand is supposed to be this long and yours is this short doesn't mean you're insecure about it just means that that person probably has a description that does not cater for you that's just like when you get into a shop and there's something that's more expensive than what you want to buy it's not like well it, it, it doesn't affect you you just go for what you can afford and that's basically what I'm saying to you. You don't have to be insecure about yourself. Right? So all you have to do is be fine with who you are. Be happy. Smile. Unless you're not doing it for people. But you just feel a tap away about yourself. You, you're not comfortable. You just feel like, I could be better. Yeah. So I was insecure. And I want to tell you why you should try to work on it. The first thing is it doesn't bother only you it bothers everyone else around you so because you're insecure growing up i was insecure because i thought why am i the only dark one at home you know <laughs> insecure people are overthinkers i don't know about you but definitely it has to be a must you are an overthinker that's because you imagine scenarios in your head and you end up feeling bad about yourself you imagine someone sees your toe and they don't like you for your toe. You imagine being laughed at because of this. You just create a whole world in your mind that makes you feel worse about yourself. That's what insecure people do. You imagine the worst case scenario and your life is 
just an incident of worst case scenarios so you're living in a world where you think everything is going to be the worst that could happen is the one that's going to happen to you so even if it does happen you always live it twice because you already imagined it in your head so anyways guys <laughs> so that's why you need to stop being insecure two it's burdensome to the people that live around you because insecure people constantly need affirmations from other people so you feel ugly you want me to constantly tell you but you're not ugly you're pretty ah me pretty ah look at my blah 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 no i actually like your your big ears they're fine no but look at my eye no they're cute oh really you think so you know you constantly want people to give you approval and affirmations and that's not their duty you're supposed to be happy with yourself you're supposed to be confident you're supposed to be fine with who you are but we constantly do that i was like that i used to be like I'm the darkest in the family, I'm this, I'm hated. And my sister had to go through everything trying to say, no, but you're not like that. No, but they, they care about you. No, but this, no, but people care but about I'm you. Like, people have their groups of twos and I don't. And my sister had to constantly be like, no, people care about you. Look at, remember who this, remember that that. It was unnecessary. Shout out to her, by the way. Please subscribe to her channel as well. It's at Ila Nodu. And anyways, guys, to be fair, insecurity is a tick. It drains you, drains your energy, takes away your peace. It just leaves you as the monster, people that are trying to avoid you. And at the end of the day, you feel like people don't want to socialize with me because I have this. Because no, it's because you think too much. It's boring. It's boring. To always be with someone who constantly wants you to prove to them why they matter. It's your responsibility to find your value. To trust that you are valuable. To trust that, no, you're fine. Honestly speaking, if you don't have yourself, if you find yourself worried about things like that, shows that you have some growth to do. Because it's attractive to find someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah? Yeah. So do that. Do find yourself. I don't know about you, but I definitely think insecurities are there everywhere. But how you treat them in your life is what matters. So don't make them a big part of your life. You know, work out those insecurities. Be like, I know that I've got big eyes and I'm going to love them and I'm going to be fine with them and I'm going to walk and stand tall in them. They're mine. What are you going to do about it? You know, confident people make you silent. Confidence brings out silence in people. Because eventually people respect different. So, okay, you've got big toes or whatever. You've got a big foot. I don't know what you are insecure about. But only you choose to make that insecurity a bad thing or a good thing. Your confidence is all that matters. If you treat yourself like garbage, people will treat you like garbage. But if you value yourself, people will value you too. So stop stop being insecure. Stop being like, I can't start a channel. I remember I was scared to start a YouTube channel because I was like, who's going to watch my videos? Because <sighs> I felt like, you know, I have friends, but I don't think that they would go an extra mile to click and be like, okay, let's subscribe to a channel type of vibe. I, I just was insecure about myself. I didn't think I was friend worthy. I had all these things. But honestly speaking, today we're celebrating 100 subscribers. Thank you so much for the 100 subscribers. I value and appreciate that. And please stop being insecure. Do what you gotta do. Well, who's gonna buy? You know, with an insecure person, I don't think that you can really create, like, if you want to be rich, it's very hard to do it whilst you're insecure. Because you'd be scared to even start your own business. You'd be like, who's gonna invest? People won't trust me. I'm not gonna trust with this. So you're gonna overthink it, overthink it, and end up, you know, looking at the worst case scenario. It won't work out, blah, blah, blah. And then you're done. You finished it in your head and you're not going to even start. So don't do that to yourself. Insecurity is the devil's weapon to, you know, stop you from progress. It's an enemy of progress. 
so i don't know what you're insecure about you could be like i'm tired don't understand i understand i understand i was always scared to talk even in public speaking actually let's go to debates <laughs> everyone knows that i went to girls college for for a level and i was coming from a you know get to a junk talak vibes that's good that's a good school i love it but you know i knew even from john talak i knew that if we were going to like uh fancy places and stuff like that people like us were chosen to speak because we've got a ghetto accent <laughs> but hey <laughs> but go to girls college i was supposed to be insecure about my accent you know i was supposed to not be sure if i could speak you know be like Ish, my accent will bring me down but i debated i was the vice president not that it matters anymore but i'm just telling <laughs> it really doesn't count anymore but you know i made it with my zimbabwean accent my african accent so i don't know about you guys but i think insecurity stops you from what could be imagine if i never tried because i was scared that if they asked me to speak in public people would vote me down because of my voice because of you know because of whatever reason because i'm not worthy you know all those creepy things that come up in your head i couldn't have had that opportunity i wouldn't have gone for my tournaments that i went to i wouldn't have had the great time that i had i wouldn't have experienced my life in its fullest i would always be wondering what if i had won what if I had tried? And you don't want to live your life in what ifs. You want to live in the now. In the, I did this. At least I can say I did it. Even if it didn't work out, I'm proud of myself because I didn't limit myself. You know, don't limit yourself. Insecurity is meant to blindfold you. So that your view is only focused here. On the, it probably won't work out. <sighs> closing your eye closing your eye you don't see anything else you're like ah, i help myself people are gonna laugh at me so what if they laugh at you sometimes they laugh at you but you still succeed so let's stop being insecure you see people that are confident and you're like you laugh that's your job laughing at people that did what you couldn't do but look at them look closely at them what have they achieved what have you achieved by watching nothing nothing for your life is just a show you just sit back and watch no you are supposed to be acting you're not supposed to be watching your life is supposed to be you being the movie not just watching life pass you by like well they're doing stuff well at the end of the day you have no one to blame but your insecurities that keep you thinking ah but i'm not good enough oh why can't you do that? Why can't you go for that thing that you want? Well, I'm probably not good enough, you know. They probably want so much. You overthink everything. Just go ask. Go ask. Your challenge is to go for it. This is my advice to you. Just do it. I think I should be in partnership with Nike, guys. What do you think? I'm always advocating for the just do it, just go for it type of vibes. Yeah, they should sponsor me. <laughs> But anyways, do guys, do do the thing that needs to be done. Stop hiding under insecurity. Stop overthinking and over processing things in your head. Mm -hmm. Overcooked food doesn't taste nice. Overdone things don't go well. So just do it. Live in the moment. If you feel like doing this, go for it. If it doesn't work out, you'll sort it out later and you'll be fine because you tried. Love you guys and please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you for the real ones. I love you all.